Hello everyone. Okay, thank you very much for all the support. Thank you for liking the page. Thank you for following. Um, yeah, so wow, today is a rainy day. Uh, so uh, uh, when I did this recording today, rain whole day uh, over at my side. So yeah, so if you're watching this video, please help me like, please help me share. So I copy from other masters uh, I saw from Facebook. They usually try to drag a bit during the front part uh, to gather the people in first. Uh. So, I'm eating chocolate. Okay, I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Help me like, help me share, help me like, help me share, help me comment. John is handsome. Okay. Today, I think quite quite good. Um, initially, when I do this, I thought uh, nobody going to see. Uh. So, not bad. Uh. Still got one or two, not bad. Uh. <laughs> Still got people going to see, going to comment. Okay, thank you very much for the support. Uh. So, uh, it will keep me going. Uh. So, as much as possible, I also want to, you know, do this on a uh, 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 long-term basis, as much as possible, whatever I can um, do in terms of the recording, whatever I can share, I will, I will put it up over here. And then, uh, yeah, so same thing. Uh. So, ask me anything, okay? I, 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 uh, if you are shy, just PM me your questions, then I will see whether it's uh, personal or I can share this in public. Then I will just showcase the, the I mean, I will just share uh, information that you ask. Uh. Then, of course, some of the sensitive information that you ask, like uh, um, your money, salary, where you stay, how much is your property value, all these things, I will not, I will not share. Uh. I will not share this on the, on the public channel. So, um, yep, yeah, ask me anything, okay? Ask me anything. Uh, yep, yeah, then um, feel free to just type in the comment what the, the things that you encounter because... Uh, I think, like I mentioned in the previous video, uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, people nowadays, right? It's, it's not the lack of information; it's that uh, the the information overload and sometimes uh, misinformation. So, uh, case in point, right? I always share with people that's like sometimes uh, a young couple um, uh, dealing in the in the property, right? Like for for the for the same, how, how do I put it in a nicer way? Yeah, like like. Um, the solution for a young couple, right, versus a, a retiree, right, sometimes will be different. So sometimes it's not necessary like, hey, where is the best property to buy? Uh? It's not something like that. Like, it's not so straightforward. Sometimes it's all about like, uh, how are you? How many kids you have? Where, where your kids is planning to go to the primary school? Or your kids is already adult or young adult? Um, how many property that you already have? What is your reserve funds? All these things, like, all these things is like, uh, I will do it on a very uh, in-depth basis with all my uh, friends and clients uh, to make sure that they are in the um, right, right, uh, how to say, uh, uh, right financial financial ground before moving ahead. Because um, it's not like in the past, uh, because I have been in this line since 2010. So I, I do understand in the past, property agents, because market move very fast. Uh, so property agents, sometimes we all like, oh, just transact, transact, buy, sell, rent, buy, sell, rent. But, over time, uh, over time, uh, so it's uh, like we, we, we are gaining a lot of knowledge from all these experiences and all this information that we have. Uh. So over time, real estate agents also have to evolve. We also need to uh, upkeep, uh, uh, upgrade our skills. So I do, I do think that sometimes uh, we are touching uh, a bit of the, a bit, like, I would say, oh, uh, because I still respect all these uh, professions that, that, that is out there. Sometimes we are touching a bit of the uh, um, uh, mortgage advisor. Like sometimes we will assess for the client, uh, hey, your outstanding loan, how much? Then uh, should you refinance or re reprice or not? But actually all these things, right, can be done um, through your own bank one. Like for example, if I have a, 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 deep, a bad outstanding loan with DBS bank, then uh, interest rate is now at, I think, all-time low. Uh. I have not seen such a low interest rate before, uh, I think, in my career. If I have... Have I seen before? I'm not, I'm not so sure. But I remember below below 1.5 uh, is ridiculously, ridiculously slow. Leh. So, faster go and do your, your, your refinance if you haven't done so. Refinance or reprice. Then go and check out the terms. Uh, like like uh, uh, whether is there a lock-in period or not. Whether is there a uh, 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 legal fee that they are subsidizing. Then if you if you sell a property, will there be a claw back? Uh, claw back. And all these things or not. So uh, go and go and talk to someone. Uh, don't don't waste the chance because 
really the interest rate is very little. You you may not you may not feel like yeah, it's worth the effort or what. But the savings uh, can be in terms of uh, tens of thousands. Eh. So we work so hard, uh, you know, ma, we work so hard for money, uh, we must also make sure that uh, money work hard for us. Uh, like in terms of our property, uh, um, don't don't do this kind of stupid mistake. Uh, I would say really stupid mistake. Uh, if you are still paying like high interest rate for your housing loan, I repeat again, please go and see um, whether you can do repricing or refinance or not. Right? Then, of course, uh, if let's say during the short term, I mean, during the short term you have plans to sell, then you may rethink lah, because uh, there's usually a lock-in period. So, uh, before you do anything, uh, check around, ask around a few people if you want to, then just to make sure that you make the right decision to, before moving forward. If not, end of the day, uh, once you do wrongly, uh, very hard to save really. <laughs> right? Yeah, so if you are just uh, seeing this uh, video coming in, um, uh, help me like, help me share, help me comment. Uh, save money. Uh, comment, save money. Okay, comment, comment, save money. Save money. Okay, type in the comment. Save money, save money, save money. Okay, yeah. So uh, if you are watching this video, if you just come in, help me like, help me share. Uh, follow my page. Thank you very much. Then um, every time I go live, you will be notified. Uh, you will be you will be noticing that all my videos are done late at night because uh, usually. That's where that the, my house is more quiet lah, with the kids asleep. Then I can do my video recording. Then um, I can post it up online on Facebook as well. So, yep, something different. I think a lot of people, some, some of them, they do 8 p.m. Some of them, they do like what? 10 a.m., 2 p.m. But my one, uh, I think late, lah, late night for all the people who cannot sleep. All the people who uh, sleep late and, and, and wake up late one like me. Huh? Uh, okay, so today, what are we talking about? Um, Likewise, uh, gathering from some of the leftover questions um, from day one and day two, some people ask me uh, about uh, uh, today. Sorry, I keep sweating. Uh. Today is a very humid day. Uh. It rains almost every day. So, uh, very hot. Um, today, we talk about uh, key transformation in terms of Singapore. Where should you look out for? Uh, this is posted by one of my good friends as well. Uh. So, um, he asked me, hey, Singapore, everywhere, like, got transformation and where, where is good? Uh, yeah, you can see, actually, it's good. Leh, if you think about it, uh, if you think about it, actually, it's good. Because Singapore government, uh, um, okay, I'm, I'm not into politics here, uh, okay, uh, but if you look at it, uh, Singapore government is actually quite uh, forward planning, uh, right? Really, it's really quite forward planning. Um, you see the things that they do, right? It's like, um, Wow, very sensitive, ah, talk about government. Um, they are always thinking a few steps ahead, one, ah, if, you, if, you re if you realize. Yes, I agree, they will be sometimes a bit like running the country in like, like, like company like that, ah, thinking about the uh, profit and loss and all these things. But then again, ah, um, our economy is so small, our country is so small, so all the more they are always trying to intervene, all the more they are always trying to uh, monitor the on-ground situation. Uh, this morning, we just had a training uh, uh, with uh, uh, one of the mortgage brokers. Uh. So, um, after the training, I realized that hey, the, 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 the money uh, coming into Singapore right, is quite quite serious thing. It's not a small matter uh, because all this money coming into, into Singapore uh, they are not going to be in the bank for long. Uh. So, um, the interest rate is going to get very low. Uh, but the bank still need to make a living. They still need to earn the spread. Uh. So, they will still need to loan out to uh, uh, people for either doing business or buying property. So, if you haven't buy your property or intending to buy your property, uh, if you are not a speculator, okay, not speculator, uh, if you're buying for long term, now is really a good time to really go and consider and, and start doing your homework because interest rate is very low. Then if you buy a property um, now, right? I mean, you kickstart your journey now, right? You, you will enjoy the, the monthly uh, savings uh, from, from interest. Because uh, just a simple maths, uh, just off my mind, uh, simple maths, uh, uh, $1 million loan, 2.5% uh, versus 1.5%, right? The difference is almost $400 per month. Eh. I'm, I'm using uh, based on a 30-year loan. Uh. So if, let's say, assuming if I don't do anything uh, for the next 10 years, uh, 300 times, how much? Uh, my, my mess feel. 
Wait, uh, it's not, I say how much? Uh? 400, huh? 400 times 12 times uh, 5 years. Uh. Okay, you can see or not? 24,000. Eh. 24,000. Eh. Just $400 per month difference. Uh. 5 years. Uh. 24, 24K. Eh. Not, not a small sum of money. Uh. Right. So, yeah. So, if let's say you are thinking about buying property or you're thinking about investing in a second one, uh, now is a good time. Uh, remember to call me. Okay. Uh, I would advise you uh, as much as my uh, my knowledge uh, allows. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, uh, we also trying to uh, make sure that, uh, okay, my business style is like this. Um, I always want to make sure the person make money. Because uh, if let's say, right, the person buy a property uh, and then lose money, uh, wow, he will spread everywhere. Then, People is like that, ma. Uh, good good things are uh, spread very slow. <laughs> Bad things are uh, well, spread very fast. So I better make sure that this person buy this property, right? At least, uh, at least, uh, worst come to worst, uh, at least uh, don't lose money, uh, right? Then make how much is depending on, on, on the, the market demand then really. Long. I, I cannot, I'm not God, uh, I'm also not fortune teller, I also cannot say, wow, this place confirm what? I cannot, I cannot say this kind of thing, right? So we can only use based on the current uh, statistics based on the information that we have uh, to make an educated guess uh, to see hey, where is a, where is a good place that you can buy based on your uh, based on your existing profile you know some people like um, uh, yesterday I just met another young couple they are actually planning to buy BTO so they are looking at BTO as their first option so after that I, I asked for their particulars uh, yeah, I check I see, see, see hey, well, their income not bad their savings also not bad so I was uh, suggesting to them, hey, why not you want to buy a condo straight away? Then they say like, hey, my mom or my, I forget it's the girlfriend or the boyfriend. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the girlfriend. The girlfriend, the mom say, hey, my mom say the first house, right, must be BTO. They say, huh? Well, why, why, why your mom say? I say, BTO, bao tan eh, bao zuan de. BTO, bao, sure make money one. Yes, I agree. BTO, you will sure make money in a sense. Lah. But uh, again, uh, like I mentioned to you, BTO, there is a, a not so good point about it is that the, there's a long waiting time. Okay? Long waiting time. Okay? Type in the comment. Long waiting time. Type in the comment. Long waiting time. Okay? Uh, why I say that? You see, uh, my, my first BTO, I bought it in the uh, age of 22. Well, I, I thought I very smart really. I well, start so young. Then after eight years, uh, I the time I bought this uh, three-room flat uh, in Bukit Panjang. So after eight years, uh, uh, the pure profit is uh, 120,000. 120,000. Uh. So <laughs> eight years to make 120,000. Okay, lah, put lah, not bad. Lah, right. But um, I compare to some of my peers, uh, uh, some of them, they make the, the money from new launch, right? Three years. 250,000, 4 years, 350,000, that kind of money. Uh. But of course, my, my, my positioning is different at the point of time. Uh. I don't have that money to, to go and buy new launch yet. Uh. So, uh, just, uh, just uh, to share with you, if you buy BTO, uh, you have to know your current age, your current income level. Then, there are options for you because not necessarily you must go and chong BTO one because if let's say uh, today you are finan financially strong, right, and uh, you can see the potential in terms of buying a new project, right, then let's say uh, two rounds of three years, uh, two rounds of three years is six years. Uh, six years, maybe uh, uh, you may have made two times already, if you, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, if you've been uh, in touch with me, if you, if you have uh, been uh, uh, following all the, all the things that I'm posting and commenting on my Facebook, then you will know what I mean. Uh, so uh, the young couple, right? I mean, this is something that is still very new because uh, being young, uh, so uh, that's something that that probably they may not have heard of, uh, Based on their budget, right? They can go up to a one point eight million property, no problem. Yeah, they 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 are quite uh, zai one, uh, very steady one, uh. But uh, in terms of property, it's like that. It's, it's very common. Sometimes we are very um, good at our work, right? Like maybe a dentist, lawyer, or, or, or some high-paying jobs. Uh. 
Uh, sometimes we are so focused in our career, right? We did not necessarily have the time, right, to go and um, uh, think about other things. Like some high-ranking careers uh, profile people I met before in terms of clients, right? Their investment knowledge, not so good one. It's like, uh, I mean, sad to say that they, because they are so busy with their day job, uh, they don't have that um, extra few hours uh, per day uh, to go and monitor the market, uh, to go and see what is good, what is not. So sometimes they just leave it to the expert. But of course, uh, expert is expert, uh, but we, we try to, you know, uh, give them options to say that hey, based on based on what you are uh, having now, based on your standing, you have options. Okay, it's not like oh, die die must go BTO. So um, uh, BTO, I think ninety nine dot co recently wrote a very good article as well about BTO. Uh, I think later on I go and post on the comment as well lah. Okay, about the BTO one, then you can go and read. Uh, it's quite interesting for for people who are young lah. I would say young lah. Go and go and. Uh, you have the waiting time, 8 years minimum, because why 8 years? 3 years construction, 5 years MOP, right? MOP is minimum occupation period. The government uh, force you one, that means no choice. During these 5 years, cannot do anything in terms of uh, residential property investment. After 5 years, if you own HDB, you cannot do uh, equity term loan. You cannot, you cannot take money out of the house without selling. So that's, that's another topic, lah, okay? Wow, I talked for so long already. Uh. Uh, sometimes like that. Uh. Talk, 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 talk. Then, uh, tea, uh, tea, uh. tension, tension. tangent. Uh, yeah. So today, talk about what? Okay, let me do my share screen first. Okay, eat one, one more chocolate before I... Okay. So, um... The question was asked by my, my, my friend. He's saying about uh, what are the key areas to look at in terms of transformation. Uh? Okay. So, I mean, if you have the budget to play, you can see where is this place now. Very big piece of place. Uh. Thirteen, thirteen, ten, ten. Everything white color, right? I show you, ah. Uh. White side. White is white side. White side, ah, uh, is one of the. Most premium, if not the most premium, uh, in terms of the land usage that can be zoned by the government. Okay, so this one is something that if you realize, right, this whole piece of land, right, if you go there now, uh, everything is empty. Okay, everything is empty. Okay, so this place, where is it? Anyone of you know? Marina Wana. Uh. Marina, Marina Bay area. Right now, I think now only got uh, what, uh, banks, MRT station, a lot of empty land. If you see further down, yellow color. Yellow color is what? Where is it? Reserve. Can see? Reserve site. Meaning to say, right, subjected to further detailed planning by the government, uh, right? So, reserve site can be maybe in the future become residential, can be, um, can be become hotel, can be become park, still don't know yet, subjected to further planning, okay? But you can see over here, uh, there's a lot of white sites. And the port ratio is all very high. You can see, yeah. Uh, And now it's all empty land. Uh. Now if you go and see, uh, it's all empty land. Uh. So this is one key area that you should not miss. If let's say, if you have the budget uh, and the timeline to go and play in this area, okay? Marina One Residences is selling over there. Okay, if you are keen, let me know. Thank you. Right, so this is one of the area that you are uh, you must look at, okay? 
can see this whole big piece of yellow color or not? Over here. Okay, this is part of the Greater Southern Mountain Front. Likewise, um, I always share with people, um, if you are um, starting to do your own research, URA is your good friend. Um, URA is very easy. Just type URA Greater Southern Waterfront and everything is there already. I would say almost, uh, almost everything is there already. Go and read. Take some time to read, understand what the planning is about, what the government is trying to do over there. There is something very good. Uh. Singapore, one thing good is, is transparent. Then one thing not so good is also is transparent. <laughs> because why? Because sometimes uh, uh, I do have some friends who go and uh, uh, invest overseas, uh, like Malaysia or, or somewhere. Uh. Then they will say that, hey, you know, uh, 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 say what, this town, this town, right, got a uh, train coming in. Then the government uh, confirmed it's here already. They say, really, man? Well, Singaporean, uh, sometimes we go overseas, right? We want to check, we want to Google, we want to uh, find information. Then we check, check, check. It cannot find one, eh? Because uh, the government don't, don't, don't share all this information. I mean, overseas, lah. Okay, so all this information is not so readily found uh, for overseas. So you, get, you got that edge, lah. You have the edge, edge, ah. the, 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 I always like to use the word edge, ah. E D G E. Like casino, you got age, ah. the banker always win. Ah. So if you got if you got the information age, ah, you go and buy the property there, chop first, right? Then when wait for the newspaper, wait for the government announce, then sure what right or not? Ah. So this is how the people play the game last time. Ah. But in Singapore, right, the information is here already there, but sometimes people don't don't bother to go and to go don't bother go and go and read, go and find. So sometimes when I share with people, they say, really, man? They say, yeah, I'll show you the news. So, uh, I, think, I think in Singapore, it's different. Right? In Singapore, everyone is so busy with their life. Um, they don't have, um, or rather, too many, too much news, really. Too much news. I think both factors are too busy with the day job and too much news. Then they, they, they missed out. Uh, so I say they missed out like, all this information. Okay? You can see or not, this whole yellow, yellow thing, one. Greater Southern Waterfront. It stretched until Pasir Panjang the side. Huh? So it's actually a very, very big piece of land. Okay. It's actually a long-term planning. Huh? I wouldn't say it stretches until here, huh? this uh, gray color thingy here. Huh? All the way until here. It's, it's all part of the Greater Southern Waterfront. So all this uh, shipping activity, right, is going to go to Jurong. Uh, you can see over here, this gray color thing, the, the teeth. Huh? I say thief, I don't know whether am I the only person who say thief. Uh, it's all the, the what? Uh, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 of the Tuas Megaport. Uh. Tuas Megaport is the, I think it's the world first uh, largest automated uh, shipping port in the world. Uh. So Singapore government, our, because of uh, our, our trading activity is very important. Uh, so they also constantly want to make sure that we are ahead of our game. Uh. We, don't, we, we don't want to lose the the, the, the positioning uh, number one. You can see Singapore government, same thing like Okia Su one. Uh, oh, we want to be number one, number one, number one. So same thing you see, uh, grey color one. Transport facilities. Uh, this big piece, all, all grey color one, right? All the shipping container and all that. Uh. Some of my friends, they, they have offices, very nice offices. Uh, the view overlooking here, wow, damn shook. Working in this environment. Yeah. So this thing opening up already. So when the First thing first, uh, this uh, Greater Southern Waterfront, right? It's not a short-term thing. Uh. Uh, I use short-term because why? First thing first, uh, you need the shipping activity to shift first. Eh, right? You need to clear the land first. Eh. That's number one. Number two, then you can uh, do your things like soil testing, la, uh, uh, infrastructure planning, la, uh, how, you want to, how, the, how you want the road to go in, then what kind of support facilities is there, where you want to allocate land for, for parks, where you want to uh, look at land for greenery space, uh, roads, all these things. So it's not a, a, a short-term thing. Eh. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a long-term thing. Eh. So if you see, I eh, remember the Jurong, Jurong planning. Eh, it's first announced in 2008. Eh. So now already 12 years. You see, now Jurong is still not yet complete. So government is like this. They announce something first. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, usually it's our... PM, PMD, la, we always, uh, always like to announce these kind of exciting news in the National Day Rally. So that's, that's why uh, property agents, uh, we also always like to um, 
look at National Day Rally because National Day Rally is when the, our greatest sales spend in Singapore will help us to sell Singapore. <laughs> okay? So our greatest salesman in Singapore, right, will help you sell Singapore property through the National Day Rally. All right? They'll tell you, wow, where, the, where can buy property? <laughs> Just a joke. Uh. Okay? So 208, Jurong is first announced. Okay? Then the most recent one is the Greater Southern Waterfront. Okay? Yeah, so all these uh, is going to be waterfront living, waterfront uh, housing in the future. Uh, okay? So even in this side, uh, Marina is this part. Wow, such a big piece of land. Currently, I think it's the golf course, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, I think there, here is the golf course. Yeah, so I, after that, when it's going to shift away, rumor, uh, rumor, I don't know how true. Uh, they're saying got uh, third, third uh, integrated result coming in. Uh. That means a uh, third, uh, either... Uh, maybe Disney plus one casino, I don't know. So uh, if you read some of the forum online, right, some of them they saying it's here. I don't know lah. This one all rumor, uh, I cannot speculate. And some people say it's here. Okay, I'm also not sure lah. So you if you if you are very keen, you can go and read up more about what's happening. So all these things is just only on the south. Eh. Well, I talked for so long, still talking about south. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then this is just the central region. Okay, I zoom out. Uh. Singapore very small, uh, but wow. I zoom out. Uh, so still, hey, how come my mouse stuck? Shut up. Okay, now okay. Then we go up to the north. We touch north first. Uh. Same thing. I always tell people this thing. Uh. Okay. When you want to buy property, you want to go into an area, right? Whereby everything is built up already, then you buy in to enjoy the amenities and facilities, the parks, la, the infrastructure, la, everything. You want to buy when everything is done up already, right? Or you want to buy right when things are just started. Okay, choose ah. Type maybe try la, try try something. Ah. Type in the comment. Number one, you want to buy when everything is fully developed already, then you buy and enjoy. Or, number two, you want to buy when everything is still under construction, then uh, very inconvenient, the roads divert here and there, a lot of noise, a lot of dust. Which one you want to buy? You want to buy number one or number two? Type in the comment, type in the comment. Right? Uh, so this is something that I always ask people, lah, just to make them think. Say, hey, today, uh, you are a property investor. I use the word investor. Lah, okay? You are a property investor. You want to buy something that is, you go to an area. Lah. Everything is built already. Very nice, very, very uh, convenient. Okay, you want to buy when everything is, 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 is nice and cozy. Or you want to buy when everything is still under development and construction. That's something to think about. Huh? Okay? So, give you some time to type. Right? I'm not sure if got people type or not because I'm doing pre recorded video. Uh, then maybe also no, no, no people type. <laughs> yeah. So, a question is always, always this I ask people if you buy when everything is already built up, the price is high or low? Okay? You get my point? If you buy, when the MRT is still building, the roads is still doing the uh, construction works and all that, the price is going to be high or the price is going to be low. So you get my point? Why people, last time, uh, oh, we always like to quote this example, uh, Caspian. Caspian in Jurong, right, was selling at uh, how much? Uh, $500 plus per square feet uh, last time. Then when the Jurong planning was announced, uh, Price shoot up like crazy. I think now it's trading like 1,000, 2,000, 3 per square feet, uh, if I'm not wrong. 500 to 1,000, 2,000, 3 times 2, eh. times 2.5, uh, not, not 2, uh, times 2.5. Eh. Then if let's say I only pay 20% now, I use $100 per square feet, right? To earn $800 per square feet. Eh. You get what I mean? Not? $500 per square feet, 80% 80, 80 bank loan, 20% your own equity. Ma. So 20% of 
buy hundred dollar per square foot is hundred dollar per square foot, right? Then the thing jump to thousand three, right? So it's eight hundred dollar per square feet, right? So I I use hundred dollar of my own money, right, to make eight hundred dollar per square foot, there. You get my point or not? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, this is something to share, lah. So now if you go Ulan, ah, now I think still a bit messy, right? Things are still settling down. Um. Uh, buildings are still ongoing. Um, now there only got what uh? Shopping mall, Causeway Point. Um, the MRT is up already. Oh yeah, the MRT is up already. The 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 three uh, station is up already, open already. I haven't go and visit yet. Uh, quite interesting uh, The 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 government do things quite interesting one. They open the MRT in phases also. I think also good lah. Uh. Test test first uh, in case of breakdown. <laughs> Right, test, 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 everything okay, and then they will open a few more stations, open a few more stations. I think it's good, lah. right? The uh, government is learning, they are also learning. Okay, same thing, uh, you can see what color, white color, Woodlands Regional Center. Okay, this place will have commercial, commercial will be like office. Uh. Okay, so this whole area, right, you can see one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven plot of commercial land. How many white side? One, two, three. Three plot of white side. Okay. Quite cool, ah. Uh. Go, go and see the street directory. What is the existing site? Okay. Click until the advertisement. Causeway point. Wow. Mm, see the MRT is up already. I got one friend quite 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 cool. Uh. She go and buy uh Rose Suit or Casablanca, I can't remember. Before the MRT open eh. And she go and buy. Because if you know this area well, right, this this few project, right, the, the performance are not so good one. <laughs> so she go and buy when when it's cheap lah. So I say, wow. You very daring, uh. <laughs> yeah. But from her house, right, walk towards to the one of the exit point over here, right. It's only seven minutes walk. Eh, she told me, the exit point or the exit point is exit seven. So you see, uh, when this thing open, right, it also link directly to the red color line. Eh. So in Singapore context, right, we always say that your distance to MRT or distance to MRT. Last time, right, before this new uh station open, right, the MRT, right. Is you have to walk from here. I think take bus lah. Nobody walk lah. But if let's say walk lah, walk from here all the way to here. The old one lah. One, two, three, four. You can see you now exit point over here. The station exit point lah. But because of this station opening right, this underground one lah, they got one exit point seven. You can see you now over here seven. So that's like considered very good walking distance already. One one um uh one HDB estate away lah. So one block is two minute, one, two, three, four, eight minute lah, eight minute walk, you reach this junction ready, right, becomes walkable ready, right. So you can see what happened over here, same thing ah. Uh, if you look at the map, you can see the map. Oh, this shape ah, uh, like, like peach ah. Uh. How ah? <laughs> right, something like a peach shape. Ah. Interesting. Eh? What's this pink color one? Okay, you can see. Ah. Residential with commercial at the first story. So this one, right? This plot, right? The tip, ah, likely is going to be a mixed development. Condo, lah, condo with uh, shops at the ground floor. Something like, uh, something like what? Ah? Something like the Quest? I cannot think of anything else. Yeah, the quest is, is is this kind of structure also. Okay. We do a set by set comparison. This is the new 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 upcoming wood square lah. This one is by Far East. They selling already. I think the sales not bad. A lot of people buy in already. Okay. Then Ulan Civic Center, this is where your library and the stand chart bank is over at. Right. Blue color one, yeah. Still got a lot of that means uh, this plot 
one, two, one, two, these two plots still still not yet um up for development. Uh. Then plus the white side. You see the government very smart, uh, reserve all the white side. See the bus interchange is also temporary. So you see, uh, one, well, this big piece white color one, this one I think will be the most prime because bigger uh, and the shape is more regular, more towards more squarish. This one, the shape a bit loose, uh, a bit triangular already. Uh, one, two, three. You can see or not? Now empty. Uh. One, two, three. So there is a lot of growth as well, uh, Woodlands Regional Center. Then uh, if I'm not wrong, right, further upwards uh, is all the all the uh, planning. Okay, you can see subject to detailed planning, subject to detailed planning, subject to the detailed planning. Uh, this color I also like. This color is what? Business park. You can see or not? This color. Uh, how to describe this blue? Uh? Guys, uh, describe color very, very poor one. <laughs> blue means blue, la. what blue? <laughs> Light blue. This one dark blue. Dark blue is commercial. This one is not exactly light blue. I eh. don't know what blue is this. Uh. This blue, la, I think you know la. business business park blue. La. I call the I just call this business park blue. La. Okay, this 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 part is blue. Okay, business park. Business park, right, is the better uh, land uh, compared to industrial. Okay, business two is industrial. The purple and the the light purple and the dark purple one is industrial. You can see or not? Hmm. All this is industrial. You can see? Harvest at Woodlands, uh, Woodlands Beast Hub. Uh, uh, everything here is industrial. So today, uh, if you buy property, got two areas that you can choose from. Two different areas you can choose from. One is near industrial park. One is near business park. Which one will you choose? I think it, it, I, I say again. Uh, if you buy a property today, one is near industrial park. Okay? One is near business park. Which one will you choose? Business park. Why? The people there pay higher. I mean, not to, not to discriminate or what, but really, if you look at the business park people, right? You see Changi Business Park, Jurong in uh, Jurong Business Park, where got business park? Where else got a business park? Ah, Bona Vista there is also considered business park. You see the people there, easily five figure income. On. I mean, in general speaking, la, I don't want to make a sweeping statement. So this area, right, Woodlands, ah, here also got business park. You can see or not? This 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 part. Where is this road? I try to orientate. Emirati Road West. Emirati Road West, Emirati Road West, ah, this area, la. Emirati Road West. Where's the business park again? Now ah? ah, you see, the URA already cut the land already. The road, how it run, ah, also show already. Am I at the right place? Ah? Who is keep seeing the... Correct, right? Yeah, correct. Ah. You see the MRT? You can see, ah, this one is the Woodlands North MRT. I try to place it more, more correctly. Uh. Then this one is the Woodlands North MRT. You can see or not? Woodlands North MRT. You see? The government, even the road, uh, already subdivided. Eh. <laughs> How the road will run and then all these things. Very interesting. Uh. So the, the, the URA uh, uh, master planning right, will give you a glimpse of what the government uh, uh, township planning people are planning. Uh. The town planners are planning now, right? So all this right will give you some insights of what will be happening in this area in the future. Then I always say now, if if you already know what will happen next, then you can guess where the demand is coming from, uh, right? Not like all this place is going to be business park in the future, right? That means it's going to be all the all the high income uh, earners who are who will be staying around here, lor. Then if you look at this place, uh, if let's say today I work here, uh, I work at all the business park over here, where is the nearest place uh, I can have condo? Nearest one? Uh? Hey, bole. The nearest one is, is really here, uh, it's really the uh, North Oaks, Oaksville, which is this two is almost O one, one uh, O-E-C, uh, uh, 20 plus years already. Uh, I don't think they want to stay there. Uh, uh. Another one is the North Vale, hey, North Wave, sorry. North Wave is uh, easy also, have an MOP. 
uh, this place, the location, not so convenient, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so I don't think they want to stay there also. Where is the next cluster of condo? I think only left here. Like. Yeah. Uh, so you see, my friend make a, he make a smart move. Uh, go and buy here. Chop, chop the place already. <laughs> but all these things is future. La. I always share with people is future. La. Not say that you buy, you sure what. La. You still need time to when all these things is built up. Then E is education. No? Can see not? E, education. E is what? Top here. Republic Poly. I think Republic Poly is so small. I can't, I, I can't remember. The complex so small one, man. Not so familiar here. Uh. So, uh, when I'm looking at it, why I say small one? Uh, because if you say, if you look at uh, other part of Singapore, right, the E, uh, very big one, eh, the educational side, like um, Poly, Nian Poly, I think even Nian Poly is bigger than, than Republic Poly. Eh. I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Yeah. So, Republic Poly is, is, is a, a much smaller poly. Lah. Okay. Then coming back, Woodlands, I also cover a bit already. Actually, the a lot of details are, uh, what's the saying? Uh? The devil is in the details, uh, or the details in the, in the devil, I don't know. Uh. So, so you must go and see for yourself one. Uh, because uh, even the property expert, uh, also called the, all those people who always look at the uh, URA, uh, they also cannot really zoom down to an area because too many already, too big already. Okay, North. And south touch ready. Okay, now I go to west. Journey to the west. Okay. West got what? Wow. Why is this color? Business park blue. <laughs> okay, this is not light blue. Uh. New term, I call it business park blue. <laughs> okay. So this blue is. International Business Park in Jurong, which is already built up. So, it's already there. Okay, it's not a building, uh, it's not a, a ongoing process one. It's, it's already there. Okay, you can see or not? I use this circle uh, as, a, as, a, as a point of orientation. This uh, 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 roundabout, you know roundabout. Circle lah, circle. You can see? All your building is here already. Uh, Synergy la, German Center la, uh, some of my friends working here. Yeah, so uh, this part is built up already, already, already existing here already. Okay. Uh, so all your business part is here. Right. Then further upwards, same thing as well. You can see or not? White sides. Prime land. Okay, there's one more prime land over here. I oriented you a bit. The temporary bus interchange. I think this one is a temporary bus interchange. Okay. And then underneath the MRT track over here, white side. Wow, how, how they going to build? Uh? <laughs> Quite curious. Eh? <laughs> what kind of building can go there? I don't know. Uh, huh? Maybe underground one. Hard to say. Nobody knows what will happen in the future. JQ is here. Right. Commercial. Oh, shopping center is also commercial. So uh, just now forget to mention. So all these dark blue one, uh, commercial uh, is can be office or commercial. Okay. Office or office or shopping center, sorry. Office or shopping center. Okay. W is what? Somebody asked me. Uh, w is what? W is let's go and see. Business white. Okay, the details you must go and see. Lah. What is the difference? I also don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot of things. Lah. So sometimes you ask me, I also need to go and Google and read up a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Jurong, um, if you realize uh, this big piece of land, right, is for what? This part, this part. Previously, is the, uh, what's that called? Uh? HSR. But now our good friend up north, Malaysia, uh, change of government, so change of plan, a lot of things change. Uh. If not, this area will have a lot of excitement. Why I say so, right, is because um, Genting Hotel is the only hotel here right now. Uh, but there's going to be more hotel. From what I know, uh, there's going to be more hotel here, which um, 
last time I do remember the Jurong planning, right? They are trying to make it something like a, um, what's that term? Uh? MIC. Uh, uh, exhibition, don't know, don't know what. Uh, MIC. Oh, what does MIC stand for? MIC stands for. Ah, this one. This one. <laughs> Meetings, incentives, conferencing, and exhibition. Ah, so this area, there will be some activities, something like that. Something like Suntec. Uh, do your exhibition, do your meetings, do your conferencing. Uh, so MIC, okay? So why MIC is so uh, uh, important? Because bring in tourism money. Ma. People come here, they spend in hotel. You cannot expect them to go and rent HDB. You cannot expect them to go and rent condo. Cannot, ma. because they are here only for one day, two day, at most, uh, I don't know, or one week at most. So they will need to go and stay at a hotel. Lor. Then all these people, they come, you told you one, uh, got, got, got face value one. Uh. You can't expect them to do Airbnb also, right? So they will stay at a hotel, uh, right? So this, this whole area, right? Uh, if I do remember correctly, right, government planning over here is to do a lot of um, uh, MIC activities. Uh, uh, but now um, things are put on hold in terms of the HSR, high speed rail. I'm, I am actually kind of expecting that you can, you can get through uh, because um, uh, one, of my, one of the stations is at Batu Pahat. So it's actually my, 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 one of my uh, the, the, the family, family site. Uh, some of them, they stay around there. So quite cool. Uh, because every year, if you know, uh, Malaysian, we go back to uh, my parents. Uh, Malaysian, we, we all go back to uh, go and visit relative. Uh. Wow, the causeway jam uh, can be sell one. Eh. So I just looking forward. Uh, hey, just pay that thirty dollar. I don't know how much the ticket is gonna cost. Uh. maybe two hundred dollar. I don't know. Uh, two hundred dollar just take the high speed rail. Wow, then thirty minute reach your reach your destination ready there. Eh. Good right. Instead of being stuck at the causeway there, eh, wow, wow, sell. So. This thing hopefully it can uh, kick start again. Hopefully the government stable down in terms of like Malaysia uh, stable down and quickly we can have some uh, ongoing uh, uh, discussion about the, the high, high speed rail. Right. Oh yeah, uh, talking about Malaysia, I forgot. Uh, Ulan, right? They got the what? What's the thing called? Uh? RTS. Uh. There will be a RTS coming up. That means uh, uh, next time right, we can take MRT to JB. Eh. Yeah, that one is that one is still going ahead. If uh, uh go and go and see the the, the 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 what newspaper, that one is still going ahead. So yeah, so this one is something that you would want to take note lah. The RTS we, we are still is still is still going ahead. You know, RTS, RTS Malaysia, Singapore. Ah, this one. Google is my good friend. Okay. See the image. Ah, see? Oh, RTS link delayed further to two, April 2 zero. <laughs> Ay, yeah, everything delay. Uh. Change of government, everything delay. Coronavirus also delay. Ay, yeah. So you can see, uh, this thing is still, uh, I think this thing will be up first uh, before the HSR. Okay. So good. Uh, I mean, the Causeway, Causeway Jam uh, can be quite crazy. Uh. I mean, a lot of uh, my friends also go there to do weekend grocery shopping. So if let's say this thing is up, right? Don't need to take train, don't need to drive car in really, don't need to take the public bus. Not saying don't need, I mean alternative, there's an alternative way of going in, then you can elevate in terms of the traffic, not so, not so jam-packed. Okay, today I just touched very briefly, but there's a lot of more pockets of um, lands uh, that you can look at. A lot of things I never cover, like Paya Lebar Air Base, Mona Vista, the railway corridor. Okay, even the cross island line. Some things I never cover because too much already. I just want to touch like north, south, east, west, north, south, east, west, touch and go, touch and go. Okay, just just very briefly only. Lah. Okay, then at least you you just to show you around like, hey, actually Singapore ah, still got a lot of growth one. Okay. Next thing, east. Okay, now we go from west to west, ah. west to east, west to east. Wow, very big. Uh. Quick question. This one, uh, I ask people. Uh, a lot of people, they cannot answer me. So far, uh, Singaporean, uh, some more Singaporean. Uh, so far, out of 10. Uh, so, far, so far, 10 out of 10, uh, don't know uh, how big T5 is. Uh. They don't know how big T5 is. Uh. 
I always ask these people in this way. Uh. Terminal 1 bigger or Terminal 2 bigger? Then they'll tell me. I think Terminal 1 bigger. Okay. Terminal um, 3 bigger or Terminal 1 bigger? And they will say, um, I think Terminal 1 too bigger. Okay. Then we know T4 is the budget terminal. Ma. Then they just change back the name. Because the budget name very, very budget. Ah. <laughs> People don't like. Ah. Then they change back the name to T4. Ah. So T4 we all know is the budget terminal. Ah. Then, then this is the final question I will ask them. Terminal 5 how big? Then they say, don't know. Eh. They don't know how big. Show you. Ah. Terminal 1 is here. Okay, terminal 2 is here. Terminal 3 is here. Jewel is, where is Jewel? Ah? Oh, Jewel is here in the center. Can see or not? Jewel Changi Airport. Our crown Jewel. Singapore my government spent a lot of money to create a indoor shopping mall garden for uh, tourists to enjoy. Uh, Singaporean also enjoy like I never enjoy like because I stay in the West. I seldom go there. <laughs> okay. So Singapore's government spent a lot on this jewel. Uh, okay. Hope uh can attract more rich people to come in and you know work leaf play. Uh, right. Terminal one, terminal two, terminal three. Wow, very big already, right? Okay, Let's scroll out, uh. Terminal 4 over here, budget terminal. Can see or not? This whole thing is terminal 5. Eh? Got the sense of the sizing. No? It's very big. Eh? It's very, 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 very big. Eh? Can see or not? From here, huh? I already zoom in. From here, T5 satellites, I don't know what all this means. One, one structure, we, we count this one building. One building, two building, three building, terminal five, all terminal five. You can see it. Combine the land, the, the, the total land space that's, that is occupying, right? It's bigger than the existing one, two, three combined. You got the sense of that sizing or not? Okay, why why I mentioned this? Huh? Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3, with all these existing terminals, uh, Singapore already, uh, how to say, every year we top the what? Uh, uh, what was that? What's that? Sky track, no, no thing. I don't know what. Uh, the, 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 they track who is the number one airport in the world. One. Every year, Singapore government, same thing, uh, very kiasu. Uh, we want to be number one, number one. So, with only this few, uh, the Changi Airport is like yearly number one. Eh. When you go to number two, uh, somebody hit gonna roll that kind one. Eh. Then you go to number two, wow, the KPI never meet that kind one. Eh. So so you you know how Singapore government is uh, so uh, placing the emphasis on all these things. Uh. And what does this mean, right? Is that when when we have so much aviation activity, right, you create another industry out there, it's the aviation industry. Eh. So of course we cannot our land size, our manpower, our technology, probably we do not have the capability to build planes are uh, but if you see um where uh, the north part right we already have uh, the what uh, Rolls Royce are uh, Airbus are uh, they're already operating it it's 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 part of the aviation industry eh. you can see you not know, over here Salita Salita space uh, engine assembly engine test what is this white cord fan blade manufacturing you can see or not see so the Singapore government right, is also trying to grow the aviation industry. Eh? We don't talk about building the whole plane, nah, but at least we capture some of the uh, part of the processes, lah, like maybe some part of the engine, some parts of the, you know, I don't know, lah, the engine, the, the plane so big, ah, sure got some parts we can do. Ah, ma. So the aviation industry right, is also something that um, the government is very uh, uh, placing high importance on it. Eh? So you can see, uh, from this map itself, right, it's going to create a lot more uh, future job growth, a lot of more uh, future demand for housing as well. Right. So, 
um, all these things is still building in, in progress. Eh. I, I think during time of recording, like I said again, uh, because of coronavirus in the future, I don't know how it's going to be like. But then again, uh, I always share with people, uh, the history is like that one. After a while, uh, people tend to forget, then, you know, slowly things get to normal. Slowly, uh, I won't say, I won't say uh, very fast, uh, but after a while, uh, you can see people um, sort of like their, their gut is loosened already. Uh, they won't be like so uptight. I uh, don't know whether it's the right way of saying it, uh, but you can see after a while, right, the, the people tend to like go back to normal. Then they say, oh, okay, law. So that's where that people will start to say, Ma, yeah, actually flying is still okay one. Nah. Then, then when the aviation uh, still taking place, then it will, it will go back to normal again. Nah. Then all these things, they will, they will start to build again. Nah. I mean, this is, this is just based on my opinion. Nah. I don't know how, how the coronavirus is going to unfold in the, in the uh, future. So this is what we are looking at in the, just a very quick, brief overview. Ah. Wow, today's session like very long. I don't know how, how long I'm like, recording really. So just briefly, ah, north, south, east, west, ah, I already talked for so long. <laughs> Still got some uh, pockets of growth here and there, lah, oh, which I cannot cover uh, too much in detail. Um, if you like me to you know, uh, talk about any specific area, you want to know more about the upcoming development, okay, comment, comment in the whatever channel you're looking at, Facebook or YouTube, uh, comment, hey, I want to know, uh, I don't know, Bukit Panjang, there got new things coming out or not. Why we are so exciting? Because uh, transformation, ma. we always talk about new things, ma. Uh, either new roads, new school, new parks, uh, new, new what? Uh. As long as the government got pump in money in the area, right? Then it's an improvement, it's an investment in the area. So uh, chances are when there is um, developments in the area, chances are there will be some uh, demands for the property, then uh, it will affect the price growth also. So price is all about demand and supply. So when there is um, uh, value added into that uh, vicinity, like maybe Bukit Panjang, after the downtown line is being built, wow, suddenly this place, Wala, suddenly a lot of people who want to stay in Bukit Panjang because of one downtown line. Last time don't have RRT, people complain. Only rely on bus. I still remember uh, schooling days, I uh, have to take 190 to Orchard. Wala, so there, there, there one, uh, <laughs> then after that MRT come out. Hey, after that LRT come out, oh not so bad. You can you can, you know, uh, within this township can 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 travel around. Then after that downtown line come come out. Oh downtown line best. Uh, really, once you have downtown line, uh, traveling from from uh, Bukit Panjang to, to, to Orchard, uh, suddenly very fast. So, like I say, uh, so when there's transformation in the area, um, there will be higher demand. Then higher demand leads to higher property price. Something like that. Uh. So, you can always look at uh, things that's happening uh, and, and see how uh, things are growing. So, as of now, at this point of video, right, three MRT has been opened up. Woodlands North, Woodlands uh, MRT, and um, Woodlands South. So this part, right, if you zoom in uh, even closer up, right, you can see the exact station is up already. Okay, where it's going to run and all this thing. So you can go and see. Lah. It's quite interesting. So this website is uh, streetdirectory.com.sg. The, the, some of the actual site of the MRT already, they plot out already. Then you can take a look what is it all about. Okay. Well, I don't know whether still got time or not. Like. Today, I, I just want to talk about uh, two things, eh. but I think just based on the uh, areas of excitement to look at, uh, I touched north, south, east, west, uh, like almost one hour already. Don't know what is the time. Um, next topic. Mm, okay, uh, I just touched briefly. Uh, the next topic, I prepared two topics today. So the next topic, I just touched very, touch very briefly so that um, at least I try to cover what I want to cover today. Um, okay, so the next topic is about the government land sales. So we always talk about like, hey, how come the the price? Uh, how how you all know? How how property agent know? Like how much the the, the project is going to sell and all this thing. Okay, so this is our magic tool. This is our secret. This is our tanja. This is our trade secret. Not say secret lah. A lot of people know already. This website is called uh, Square Foot. Okay, you need to pay the money to subscribe to the uh to use their tools to access to their research. Okay, so Square Foot Insight, right? Uh, there is this uh, trends and analysis under government land sales. 
So once you click into it, right, you can see all the uh, confirmed done deal by the developers. How much they buy, roughly what is the um, pricing in terms of like where their break-even cost and all these things. What is the land for? Like you can see this, there's, there's an EC coming up in the Sengkang West. This one is beside Topari. Um, break-even price is 950. So from here you can see uh, this area uh, is not so near MRT. Uh, already break-even price 950. Uh. That means uh, they're going to sell at 1,001 per square foot. Uh. Likely, uh, likely going to sell at 1,001 per square foot. So if you can see the future pricing of uh, EC in this area selling at 1,001 per square foot. Uh, then you think back, uh, now existing the cheapest one, not say the cheapest, uh, the most value one I think is Piemont Grand. Uh. Piemont Grand still have units. Uh. Then it will, look, it, will, it, will look, it will make uh, Piemont Grand look like a uh, better value buy. Ma. You know what I mean? This place, if you know, uh, if you know this place well, uh, not so convenient one. Eh. Already, their break even price is at 950. Already, um, just based on the uh, 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 normal markup, uh, the developers, they still need to make money. Ma, right? So, they will need to sell around 1,001 per square feet, eh, which is much higher than Piemont Grand really. Piemont Grand is in Pongo. Eh. If you know what I mean, seven seven bidders, eh? It's not a it's not a lonely bid, eh? Seven bidders, eh? Seven bidders. Eh? Zoom up, zoom in a bit. You can see or not? Seven bidders, eh? That means seven developers, right? Is interested in this piece of land. So the the highest bidder win, ah. So Singapore is like that. They will bid bid. Um, okay, Canberra. Thousand three confirm. There about one, ah. Paputiao the. It's around that price. The condo over there. Four bit, five bit, break even price. So from here, you can see the date that is being sold. The parcel, uh, where, which parcel is it? When you click on it, right? They'll tell you how big is the land. Uh, more details, uh, break even pricing. All this thing. I, I don't want to go into the details. Uh, it will bore you. Okay? So, so from here, right? Roughly, you can tell like, uh, what what kind of pricing that the developer is going to set in the future. Okay, so that's why we are always very um, excited to know, uh, hey, once the government release this piece of land, we also always want to know, hey, how is the developer response for the land? They say, hey, how, how many people bid? How much is the bidding price? Uh, what is the what is the break-even cost? Then from the break-even cost, usually we will, uh, they will make around uh, 25%. Okay, if you calculate uh, this, this figure, like for example, I use this piece of land, uh, Irwell Bank Road, 2243 times uh, 25%, not, not times, uh, plus 25%. Then that will give you an average indication of how much the per square feet is going to be selling. Okay, I'm just quoting based on the general broad based kind of uh, uh, figure uh, because some development in the prime area, right? The developer actually invests more in terms of their construction costs. Eh? That means they, they give uh, better materials. They, they put in more uh, luxury things inside. So that will also affect the, the higher break-even cost. You know what I mean? Like some people say, oh yeah, how come these developers sell so, so, so expensive? Huh? I thought based on the square foot website, they put only how much, how much per square foot. So uh, sometimes we cannot base on like this. Like, like, like this eh? Because um, if you talk about like mass market area, yes, I think this one is quite quite zone, uh, quite accurate. Uh. But if you look at uh, uh, prime area, right, sometimes uh, this one not so accurate. Eh? So there's also some uh, things that you need to take note. Lah, if you want to uh, base on this figure and, and take a look. Upcoming one, uh, I think something very exciting is the Burnham Street one. This one. This one quite quite interesting. Okay, break even 2178. Why I say this is, this is exciting? Uh, because uh, Tanjo Baga decide, I think uh, for a while, don't have new launch ready. I think the last one, the, the last one was what? Uh, Onze, uh, O-N-Z-E, uh, Onze at Tanjo Baga. That one also fully sold already. So this one is something that's going to be very exciting. Okay. This one also something very exciting, One North. One North also very long time don't have new supply already. One North, I think the, the newest project is which one? Uh? The Rochester, I can't remember which one. Uh. I think it's, it's the Rochester, uh, 2015 TOP one. I think so, I can't remember. So this one also, but this one is actually quite a small, small development. Uh, if you can, if you can see into the details, I think this uh, project right only got four hundred and twenty units. Uh, considered considered small uh, in today's context. Okay, then um, uh, where else? Uh, Clementi one, upcoming uh, Clavon is going to launch soon. 
the M, or oh, you see the M, uh, why the M sell out? Because the developer sell very close to the break even price, ma, if you all can remember correctly. Go and see, uh, go and see the, the, the URA past the transaction price, and uh, go and see the, 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 um, the per square feet that they bought, bought at. The first day and the second day, uh, difference of $200 per square feet. Eh? <laughs> the people who, people who, who went for the ballot day on that day, right, then they, some of them, they walk away. I, I met one lady, she, she went for the ballot for the M. Uh. Then uh, halfway, she ding, 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 she don't want it. Eh. Wow, wasted. Yeah. So she gave up on this. Uh. They say, hey, why you give up? They say, uh, don't know. Eh. I feel like this area, not 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 an not, uh, area that she's confident in. I think also good. Like, I think you, you better don't invest something that you don't have confidence. So opportunities come and go. Lah. All right. Penrose is the east one. This one is at near the uh, Paya Lebar MRT, the side. Uh, east area, I think this will be the another mega launch. Other than that, east area, I don't think there is any much uh, upcoming launch for this year. So most of the launches that is bought by developers during 1.7 and 1.8, right? More or less, they are, they, they are launching, uh, uh, finishing soon already. That means after this batch is clear, right? You can see there's not much supply coming up already. Then that's where that where people uh, will slowly start to absorb the existing supply. Existing supply like for launch that's already done uh, one year back. Like maybe I just give Aokang, Aokang as an example. Riverfront was launched a while back. I think it's already 70% sold. Uh. So people were always like, um, look back lah. They say, hey, wow, how come this project is so expensive? Ah? Then they will start to compare, compare, look around. Then they will say, hey, wow, we do, we do front like not bad. Ah. Already uh, going to TOP soon, selling at 1,003 per square feet. So this thing will happen. Ah. Ola, Ola 976. You can see it. <laughs> at Sengkang. Right. The... I cannot, cannot, cannot comment too much. This one is public. <laughs> cannot comment too much. It, good, good, good marketing. Um, uh, very good marketing done by Ola. La. That's all I can say. Very, very good marketing done by the developer. The result is also not bad. Uh, the take up rate is also very strong. But uh, uh, if you want to know what I laugh about just now, you PM me. La, I share with you. Because this one, uh, public, uh, cannot, cannot say too much. Yeah, so uh, Promnex, the company that, that my, my license is with, uh, Promnex is also a appointed uh, um, um, uh, 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 was suddenly lost of words, uh, appointed agency to sell for Polar. This one actually uh, uh, done, done very well in terms of their sales result. Uh, the day of uh, balloting, uh, I was sitting at my living room. Then uh, the dancing kit appearing. Uh, <laughs> if you all know what I mean. At Channel News Asia, uh, Lin Nansing keep appearing. Uh, so, very good, very good marketing effort done by the developer. Very, very strong marketing. Verdeo, this one is in uh, Upper Pukitima, next to Hilford, the retirement village that I was involved in last time as well. Dairy Farm. Dairy Farm is a very interesting project. Only got two bedroom. I mean, the spoilers is a two bedroom. They don't have one bedroom one. It's also a mixed development. The first floor is a commercial. Yeah, stated over here. Something very interesting. Park and Berra, this one is an EC. Okay. Phoenix Villas, this one is a shop house. I think a row of shop houses. Ah. Okay, so from here you can see. Lah. Wow, so many projects. Some, some of them give up. See, not awarded, not awarded. Some, some, some of the blocks didn't go through. So that's why this website is, is also very good. Lah. They update us. Right, what is the final bidding price and all these things. Okay. Yeah, so a lot lah. I don't want to go into the specifics and details. Yeah, just know that um, I keep sharing with my friend ah, 2020 is the, is the year ah, whereby uh, like durian ah, wang ji ah, <laughs> bumper crop. <laughs> a lot of options for you to choose. If you don't come in now, when you want to come in? Why right not? You want to wait like the whole co uh, condo all absorbed ready, then you come in and buy ah. No, right. Like, 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 how to say, uh, like, now you got a lot of options, uh, it's good, uh, that means all the durian seller, right? Hey, come and buy my durian, come and buy my durian. They are um, pricing their product uh, so sensitively that um, their profit margin is very, very slim. Because we all know, we are working with the developers very closely, we know that, hey, wow, their profit margin is like very slim really. Then, I don't know what to say. Uh. Then some people still say, 
Aya, the property price still very high. Uh. Then I say, Aya, very difficult for you already. Lah. If you still think that the property price is high in this period of time. Yeah, I mean, talking about new launch, uh, talking about new launch. Because uh, the way we see, right, once the current uh, supply is being absorbed, right, being taken up slowly, uh, slowly but surely is, is confirmed going to be taken up one. Slowly but surely, when all these things is being taken up and when there's limited uh, supply of land, right, then you see uh, developer when they start to sell their land, you see what kind of pricing they will sell. Lor. Just like, just like, don't have bumper crop, you want to eat durian, you see your mouse on how much per kg? <laughs> right, no? Now the mouse on dirt cheap, you don't want to eat, you want to wait for um, uh, non bumper crop, non, non seasonal period, you go and eat mouse on wang. Then you see how much the durian seller charge you. Uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, sorry, I, I use the durian seller as the developer as an analogy. But it's true, uh, it's, it's business, ma. they are running a business, ma. they are not charity. Ma. You think they can give you, they can, you know, give you free durian. Uh? No, right. They also need, need to do business. Uh. So, yeah, lah. This, is the, this is the information that, that, that we always look at. Okay, so I think I talked for very long already for today. Yeah. Same thing, help me to like, share, comment, ask anything. Ask anything you want in the comments. Type, type, type. Then um, I will do another video tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, then to share more about uh, things like this. If you like uh, what I'm sharing so far, please uh, encourage me further by helping to, you know, type in the comment. Uh, keep up the good work, all these things. Uh. You know, sometimes very sin one, uh, you do a lot of effort, uh, but no response. Uh. You best sin one. Eh. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes also we do, 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 you don't know whether got people see or not. And then, yeah, don't want to do already. Uh. Sin. Uh. Yeah, so just help me to type some comment inside if uh, the sharing is useful for you. If you find that this thing is informational, this thing is uh, good, then uh, type in the comment. Uh, or if how I can improve what you want me to cover, type in the comment as well so that I can you know improve my speech, improve my presentation, uh, improve my sharing. What you want to know more, I will go and find out. And then um, if it's a non-personal thing, I will post up your questions. I will do some uh, um, sharing over here. Then you can have a better understanding of the overall property market. Like I say in my first video, uh, property is very big. So um, I don't claim that I'm an expert of knowing everything, but I do my best to share uh, my knowledge to you guys, to the uh, fans, the fans, yeah, the audience of uh, people who are looking in this page. Then uh, as much as possible, we I just want everybody to what together. Uh, okay, what together. Type in the comment, what together. Grow together, uh, grow together. Uh, see what you, what you want to type. Okay, so yep, that comes towards the end of my today's sharing. Um, what you want to, what you want, just type in the comment. You want more information about certain things, just type in the comment. You want to ask questions, just type in the comment. Then uh, same thing, please help me to like, share this page. Thank you very much. Like and share this post. Thank you very much. Uh, what else want to say? That's it lah. No more already. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night.